Hey folks, Akwesi Kimedin here. Just wanted to take a little bit of time to explain why African Americans are disrespected in their own country and why the George Floyd murder isn't an isolated incident. So it's very important that we understand under what circumstances black people were freed in America. And you might think, well, who cares under what circumstances? This is why the circumstances are important. So I'll take you back to 1860. Abraham Lincoln was a presidential candidate and the, the hot topic of the country was expansion or extension of slavery. Now, the South, which is also known as the Confederates, they, they made their money through slavery, right? They had slaves for days. They wanted assurance from Abraham Lincoln that if he won, slavery would continue. And Abraham Lincoln was like, well, that might be the case. I'm not sure. I just can't promise you that at the moment. Lincoln wins and the South say, we're out, we're seceding, we're splitting from you. And Lincoln's like, whoa, whoa, whoa you can't. Because you've got to remember at that time, capitalism is starting to rise. Now, for capitalism to work, you need people to compete with each other. The South had slaves. No one was going to compete with them. They were making their slaves work for free. The North could not compete. Nobody can compete with them. So... Lincoln was like, well, you got to kind of free the slaves in order for capitalism to continue. And the South were like, that's not going to happen because right now we're rich. We're filthy rich. We're wealthy. And there's, because of our slaves, we're not going to get rid of them. It made no sense to them. And Lincoln was like, well, that's going to kind of stifle. It's going to stifle capitalism. And the South were like, we don't care. As a matter of fact, we're going to secede from you. We don't, we don't want any part of you. Lincoln was like, well, no, that's not going to happen. They get into a war. So the war, war occurs. Now, the war was economic. It was economic based. Lincoln decides that, OK, how am I going to win this war? Oh, I know. I'm going to write the Emancipation Proclamation. Now, this Emancipa Emancipation Proclamation simply frees the slaves. It frees the slaves in the South. So that means that's going to cripple the South, right? Now, this is what Lincoln said about the Emancipation Proclamation when he was being, when he wrote a letter to uh, a newspaper editor. This is what he said. My paramount objective in the struggle is to save the Union and is not to either save or destroy slavery. If I could save the Union without freeing any slave, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing all the slaves, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would also do that. What I do about slavery and the colored race, I do because I believe it helps to save the union. So Lincoln freed the slaves not because he felt bad or because of anything moral. He freed the slaves because he wanted to win the war and preserve the union. The bad guys wanted to kill you and the good guys really don't want to let you go but uh if they if it meant winning the war well then so be it so really all millions of slaves have been freed now they have to find work and so are white people white people are also looking for work the white people cannot compete with those black people at that time for work right because if you're white and you did the same job job as a slave somewhere else you're getting a paycheck so you work hard this guy works the black guy works because he doesn't want to die if he doesn't work, they're going to kill him. OK, big difference in motivation. So these guys, the black guys, their skills were their skills superseded a lot of the other people who were working around that time. So the whites decided to create laws. One law, for example, was the vagrancy law. Now, the vagrancy law simply meant that if you are walking the street or if you're out and you don't have a place of residence or you don't have work, we can send your ass back into prison. Once you're in prison, they create another law called the convict release program. That means that if you're in prison, we can release you back to any plantation we want and you got to go there and work for free. That's some tricky ass bullshit. Um, and then they had the literacy law, for example. They said, oh, hey, beautiful man, um, you want to vote as a black person? Cool. First, you got to read this statement. If you read the statement, your ass goes straight, straight back into jail. Why? Because during that time, as a black person, you're not allowed to read. It's illegal for you to read. So you're screwed either way. So later on, once the Southerners built their wealth back up, new laws were created. One law was called the Jim Crow law. You might have heard of that. Now, the Jim Crow law simply meant that, you know, whites cannot hang out with blacks. We can't 
shake hands because that might insinuate equality there. If a black person's driving and he gets to an intersection, if there's a white person in the, on that intersection, the white person has a right of way, you know, just crazy things like that. There's a book by Michelle Alexander. It's called The New Jim Crow and explains the why there's so many black people in prison today. And it's, it's a very good read and it kind of explains why things are the way they are right now. Now, black people in America have been complaining for a very long time that, you know, they've been murdered, getting lynched by police and by, by, by everyone. Now, there's just mobile phones. That's the only difference. The only difference that everyone can see it for their own eyes now and now there's outrage. So if you think about it, white people in America, the majority of white people have not accepted black people into the society. They never, ever did from the Lincoln time. So ever since black people were freed, it, did ne it never sat well with white people over there. So... I think that kind of gives us all a little bit of an understanding as to why things are the way they are now. You were never liked then and you weren't liked now in America. So it kind of makes sense that all this brutality is um, going along. I just wanted to give everyone just a little bit of an insight as to why things are the way they are. Because you can't look at it as an isolated incident, the George Floyd thing. You got to go back and say, like, oh, OK, I get it. Um, that's all I wanted to explain. Thanks guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Also subscribe to see similar videos from me in the future.